Hello, coders. I do apologize. I don't really know what happened there. Um, it kind of worked and then it didn't work. So I do apologize. I am so sorry about that. That was a bit of a slip up. I, I'll have a review and I'll have a look after the stream and see what I pressed and all of that stuff. Apologies. Okay, let's let's just draw a line under that and get into the uh, today's today's um, live stream. So we are continuing on with this project. Um, we did a lot of stuff last week and we broke a lot of stuff as well. And we're going to be fixing a lot of stuff today, hopefully, uh, around the query builders and how the query builders um, uh, will you know what work there is a problem with the where clause i was using parameterization versus um uh oh, i forget what it's called now it's question marks versus colons on the on the where clauses of the pdo um sorry i'm a little bit <laughs> i'm trying to work out why what happened there um so let's just dive straight into the code um what i've done is i have uh, started up the Docker machines and I ran the uh, tests, all the tests, and we have a bunch of errors here. We have three failures. Okay, so we're going to try and fix these three failures. And you might be thinking, well, three failures isn't a lot, but actually, in terms of this, it is quite a lot because these are quite fundamental issues. Um, the issues here is that we have the uh, the question marks here. It's the way in which these queries are uh, constructed. Okay. This is the issue. So last week I was replacing the question marks with colons in our parameterized queries. Um, and uh, I didn't get around to obviously doing all of them. I think I only did one. Um, and of course that's gone and broken the rest of them. So we need to solve that. So that, that's an issue with this one. Can you see we, we are uh, expecting, that's the yellow string here, you're expecting question marks, but we're getting, we're getting colons back um, and, the, and their actual values. And if we scroll up to the next one, which is uh, this one here, it's invalid parameters and all of that stuff. So there is a few uh, invalid, uh, invalid parameter number, uh, I should say. So there's a, a couple and then another one here. There's a couple that um, we need to focus on for this uh, DB stuff. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm just going to move that over there. Sorry. Um, <coughs> before I get started, however, I just want to have a moment and just say a massive thank you and a very warm welcome to Lord Munter. That is an awesome, awesome name. Uh, Pab Hugh two five one nine uh, seventy five nineteen seventy five. There, Oking Kag, Maxim Munson, and Zag Hure for following along. We are now uh, we're, we're somewhere in the region of eighty followers, and that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you ever so much, everybody, for following along on Twitch. Um, that is fantastic. Uh, and uh, do if you uh, if you do watch this, um, if you do jump on the stream, then do say hello in the chat. That's uh, any kind of interruption is perfectly fine in this. There's no problem. You um, you ask away any questions that you want. Okay, so let's get back into the code. Um, Okay, so that's just the Docker machine because I just wanted to find out the the Docker container. Sorry, because I just wanted to find out that uh, the the container name for getting into the container because it has been a couple of days or about a, yeah under a week, just under a week since I've played with this uh, because I've been super busy. I've been I mean yesterday I was with clients and uh, we had a bank holiday Monday and I, I wanted to, to, to not do anything on there. And uh, Tuesday I was super busy as well. So here we are on the Thursday. Um, okay, let's take a look at, let's go for this one first. Um, this is the insert or update with where clause. Okay, so this is in query builder test. I guess what we should do is fix the query builders first and then uh, we should focus on the actual queries themselves, actually producing those queries. Um, okay, so let's do... Uh, I tell you what, what did I run? I, yeah, I ran the whole, that's what I did before. I ran the whole thing. If I did that, that again, so that was all of the acceptance, the units, and I think we have integration tests. So the integration tests look like they're passing, which is, which is uh, very good. 
because <laughs> I, I would I would have thought that they weren't. So these the things that are failing are the units uh, and the acceptance. So let's just run unit. Let's just narrow down some issues, shall we? Yeah. Okay. So we have one issue on the unit. So let's focus on that. And it, the point I want to make here is that when you've got a whole bunch of issues, I, I know we've only got three, but imagine, you know, I've worked on projects where there's hundreds, thousands of of these broken tests, right? Where people haven't updated their tests and they've just sort of, it's easier if you group them, if it's easier to go, right, let's just focus on the units. And then, you know, um, then there could be a subset of those. You can group them and go, okay, let's just focus on the unit tests that are centered around this specific thing. And then you, you fix those and you build those out. Um, and then you slowly over time fix the whole suite. Um, okay, so this is insert or update on the query builder. Let's take a look at that. So this is in uh, unit. This is in DB. If I can open that, thank you. Open that up. Okay, so you can see that these are blue. Okay, this means that um, uh, these haven't actually been committed in. And therefore, if I exit out of the container and do a Docker, uh, da -da 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 -da. no, if I did a, sorry, a git, um, branch is the command I'm looking for. Uh, we can see that we're still on the 86 refactor where, so that we're still on that branch that we were on last week. So I'm going to still work through that, um, and then commit, commit this all up once it's working. Uh, a little tweak could change here. You'll notice that I'm running uh, Z uh, Z S H Z shell instead instead of normal bash. Um, this is how I usually work when I'm working on my laptop with clients and stuff. I prefer Z shell than I do uh, normal standard uh, shells um, because it gives you a little bit more of this pretty output. Unfortunately, though, however, uh, it's jamming everything to the right hand side here uh, because in this small little space here uh, because um, just the the nature of it you have you have a little bit more output so normally I have this on big screens uh, rather than a small output but anyway I'm digressing heavily here so let's open the query builder test uh, this is which one insert or update where clause so if we scroll I tell you what let's just find that that's be easier than just hunting for it so let's just copy that in and then whoops and then do a control F and find that so here we go Scroll down here, and what we're doing is we are, this is what we're expecting. But we're actually getting um, this string here. And if we look at this, we can see that foo, that's correct. Total, that's not correct. VAT, that isn't correct either, because this needs to be really colon total, and then colon VAT, and then uh, colon ID here. So that's that's not right at all. Um, so the expected should really be, let, let, and, and let's just do that. So the first thing that we push in, let's just bring that out a little bit, scroll up a little bit. So these are the fields. These are the, the, the parameters one could argue that we're using. So that should really be ID. So we should do colon ID and then that should be colon reference. Uh, that should be colon total. And that should be colon VAT. Okay, so this is still going to fail because this this isn't the way it's set up. So this, this is going to fail because we are forcing 1 and 1 and 5. We're actually forcing the values. Can you see the values here? Uh, so let's run this. Oops, uh, I'm going to have to go into the container again. Uh, that's really interesting. Why do I not have that? Oh, it's because I need to run it through Docker Compose. There we go. Come on. Right, and then run the units again. So it's still failing. This is now the expected value, right? This is, And this looks to me correct. So we set value and then where uh, colon reference total is equal to colon total and then VAT is colon VAT, and then ID is colon ID. So these are the parameters that we're supplying, okay? And then what you do is you bind the values to those parameters. Um, so, so this is what we're actually getting out. 
this is a problem. So there's a problem with the actual query builder itself. So if we open that up, let's have a little look. So we're passing in data, table, and where. Um, and we can we can we can carve this up a little bit, right? So we're actually working on this uh, this update, and we're working on the update because we have the the where clause. If we weren't if we didn't have the where clause, if that was empty, then we would run on the insert. So there's obviously two things here that we we need to focus on. Let's just focus on the update first because that's the one we're playing with because we are supplying the where clause. And the where clause is something that we can focus on straight away because if I remember rightly, if we scroll to the bottom here. We were playing with find all by, and we put in self where, passing in the where clause. And if I open that up, we can see that we were using colons. And this is where the fundamental issues lie, right? So this is a where clause. This is working on this style of parameterization using the colon equal, uh, equals colon, and then and then the the value. Specifically, that should be the field, not the value. But anyway, uh, and then, but what we're doing is we're not using that. We're using something completely different. If we scroll up to uh, da -da -da, not there, not there, where it is somewhere, somewhere, where selfware fields, there was a place. There was a place. I'm pretty sure where we were using it slightly differently. Maybe not. Question marks. Here we go. Question marks. So we need to we need to work through all of this uh, because this isn't the right way of doing it anymore. Um, okay. So let's let's just let's just carve through this. So insert or update. We're running the update here. We're passing in the where clause. The where clause that we've returned is returning uh, ID is equal to colon five. That should be colon ID, not colon five. So let's hit the update here. Um, this is going into the where clause here, and the where clause is running through all of this, but the problem we have is that we are supplying the value and not the field. The field is the um, is this, right? Uh, ID uh, in, its, in its little quotes, like so. But what we need to do is also supply the, the, the bound val the, the bound field here, so the, or the bound parameter, I should say. I keep getting those two muddled up. I do apologize. Um, okay, so therefore, this looks to me like there's an issue with this, this whole where clause thing. If we then put in ID like so, let's take a look. Let's see if this is getting any better. Yes, can you see that we have now ID is equal to ID. Now we've lost the value, so we're going to have to be careful here. We've lost the value. One could argue if we did if we change the reference to the foo to reference and the the total to be total if I can spell that and the VAT whoops sorry the VAT to be VAT around this then that works which is awesome but this is this might give you a bit of false sense of security. Just because the query builder works doesn't mean the queries work. <laughs> so okay, well, we may have or we may have broken something a little bit more uh, harsh. Let's run um, everything again. And yeah, there's a bunch of errors here. Bunch of errors. Okay, we've got two errors. Um, let's see what they are. So we have the page not found. Oh, okay, page not found. Uh, the page not found is the one that we were already aware of, but the problem that we've got is this one here. This is the one I want to focus on. This is the invalid parameter number. This is a little bit more involved because this is actually running an acceptance test. So there is a problem with how the... Um, the acceptance test is actually being constructed. Um, and this is a little bit more serious than the query builder. The query builder obviously needs to be fixed, but because other things use the query builder, you must therefore fix those things. A point I would like to make at this, at this uh, part of the stream is that just because you've got a test working on one thing doesn't mean that that is actually going to be working. If that is being used by other things, you have to test those as well, the integration of all of that stuff. Um, so like, for example, I could just commit this code and push it up to production and go, oh, well, I'll fix the test. 
without knowing that I've actually broken something else. So you need to be aware of what actually relies on or is dependent upon the query builder. And of course, all the queries are, and therefore you need to have tests for all the queries to ensure that you haven't broken um, those those specific things. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at this. This is a DB status entity update test. All right, so if we open that up, if we open that up, if I can, yep. So if we go to the uh, da, 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 tests, this is in acceptance test, this is in DB status test. Um, I'm a little bit surprised actually as to only why this is, this is the only one that seems to, oh no, there is one here. Sorry, there is one here. Okay, scroll up again. Oh, there's another one here, yep. Okay, now there is a pattern we can see here. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see that this is failing on the update test. This is DB status entity test failing upon the update test. Scroll to the second one. This is update test again, but this is on invoice. Scroll up again, we can see that the first broken one is the update test again, but this is on the DB customer, which means that there's a fundamental issue with the update of these entities. So I have a sneaking suspicion, sneaking suspicion that if we fix one and we use that pattern of whatever, however we fixed it with the others, those are going to be fixed as well. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. So let's take a look. Let's have a, have a little nosy. Um, let's scroll to the bottom. I, I like doing the, the ones at the, the last ones first, um, for, because, just because of the way it outputs. I'm lazy. I don't like to scroll up all the time. <laughs> so, okay, update test. Uh, this is working on the DB status test, uh, which is here. And this is uh, update test, which would be that sent test, sent. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, okay, maybe it's not that one. Uh, that's weird. I thought it would be. Acceptance test, acceptance, DB status entity test, DB. Star, ah, here we go. This one. This is the file. There we go. Um, and update test. Yeah, we're on it already. Wonderful. Okay. So the issue here is that uh, when we go and update it, so we've done the creation. So that's creating the status. We've done the save. Okay. Um, so that, that's passing, but it's when we update it. So when we run the save and ent saved entity and we update. So this means that there's a, an issue in the save routine. If we open that up and we open the repository up, uh, there is an issue here. This is the problem. This is the issue uh, where we are setting up the, um, the where clause incorrectly, which is a little bit more involved. Let's just, I just want to drink, drink some of my tea before it goes cold. Mm. Oh, first tea of the day. The, like this morning, um, <coughs> excuse me, this morning the, the windows downstairs were um, frosting up, right? It's not even end, the end of August and, and we're getting frost. I mean, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, UK? I know we've got troubled times, but, you know, frost in August mornings, that's not, not right. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, right, I'm a little bit nervous as, as to this because this is actually going to be a little bit of a head scratching time, I think. So you might have to bear with me as I try and work this through. If you spot any issues as I'm going, please jump on and, and shout and say, you're missing a colon here or, you know, don't do that, you idiot. You, you should be doing this. Um, okay, so name, internal name. These are the things that are being uh, put into the data ar array. We have a where clause that's empty and then we're passing in the ID. So what's happening here is we're saying that um, if we have an ID and because we are doing an update, we would have an ID. We're then saying where ID and then we're equaling that. So that's the key and that's the value. But remember, the where clause is slightly different here. The where clause needs to have uh, the, key, the the field name and the parametized name as well, not the actual value. So we need to be doing something different with the value. We then do an insert or update and we pass that and the table and the where clause in. Okay. 
Let's take a little look at the mechanics of the insert or update again, just to refresh my memory. If we do um, an update, we pass in the data, the where, and the where. Uh, sorry, the data, the table, and the where. So we do self-update. This is going to update the table, setting the fields, where, and then we set that. Okay. So the fields, if we open that up, the fields are going to be a um, comma-separated list of fields equaling their value. So really that's incorrect. That needs to be field and then not the value but the actual uh, the, the parametized uh, s s section. Um, I think what I might do because this is gonna this is a little involved this <laughs> this is a little little bit a uh, little bit tricky one can say um, hmm what's the best way of solving this issue I guess I guess um, I guess what we need to do really is we need to one could mimic this in a in, in a natural test which isn't going to write to the database um, we could do that I guess we could do that. Um, if we scroll down here, we can see where we're actually preparing these statements. So, where we're where where we're actually we should be at some point binding these together. So we oh yeah here we go execute, passing in the values the array values of data. Now this is an issue because um, we also need to take into account the ID. So what we've got here is we've got we've got two sets of parameterized queries. Okay, so let's do let's do one is equal to um, set equals. Okay, so it's set equals. Um, so let's say it's it's like name it, na set sorry <laughs> set name. is equal to name. Okay, that's that's the first one. The second one that we need to deal with is the where. So this is id is equal to id. So we need to f we need to to deal with both of these instances. Um, the set is being handled by the data. The where is being handled by the where. However, we need to bind um, we need to sorry. We need to prepare and bind the both of these as data. This is what we gets added to the array values. This is the thing that is a little bit tricky. Um, a little bit tricky. So let's just let's just have a little let's just have a little play. Let's just, I'm just going to write some code and have a little play. So let's just do um, values. And it's going to be totally messy code um, to begin with. Values is equal to that, but it's also equal to the where clause. So the where clause also has ID, um, and that is going to be here. But the ID um, is not um, the where cl the, the the values are not going to the, the sorry the ID is not going to be added all the time. It depends on whether it's being it's uh, it's uh, it's running an update. So if that's null. So we do this and then we pop that into here. So we do values ID is equal to that. That then frees us up then whoops to say don't worry about the um don't don't you worry about the 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 values from the data, worry about the values from the from the values array, which is um in here now i've got to i've got to remember i've got a feeling that we we need to use let's see let's just see i'm not sure whether there, it needs to be an in uh, an associative array or whether it just needs to be indexed i can't remember let's just run that put that in um oops of course Okay, let's just see if that works. Is there a way I can pinpoint this test? Because I don't really want to run the whole thing again. 
um, and get confused by what is working and what isn't. So let's go to uh, DB entity status and do we have a group? Yes, we do. This is an acceptance test. So run acceptance hyphen G passing that in run this uh, and yes. Okay. So invalid number of parameters, number of param parameter was not defined. Okay. So this is, this is, uh, I think this, this is running off of execute. So let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Um, wrong file, Pete. Well, well done. Where are you? Where are you? Here we go. Um, so maybe this doesn't need to be values, 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 and then we're passing that in as values. So maybe this needs to be um, array values rather than um, rather than that. Let's just see if that's the case. Let's check that out. So array values. What's happening here with array values is just removing keys. Array, and it's also reordering, reordering them. There is a little bit more involved when you do array values. Whoopsie. Nope. Thank you. Run. Still an issue. Okay. Let's see if we can run a hyphen hyphen debug. I do apologize. I think this is the way this is just going to have to play out. I'm just going to have to do a bit of trial and error. Um, so this is all the debug. Okay. So we have, um, we can see the actual queries that are running, which is a bit helpful. So we're connecting to the database. It's saying it's connected. Good. Um, then we're connecting to that and we are saying that we can see that into the database. Then we select that out. Awesome. Um, Hmm. See, now I'm starting to think perhaps we are breaking the insert, not just the update because this is doing, remember, this is doing both of them. This is doing both of them. Um, hmm. <laughs> this is doing both of them. I think, I think what I should do is just copy the function. Um, this is in the clipboard now, so I'm going to just do a, a, a revert of all the things. Control Z is one's friend. Okay, that. Okay. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste the function that I had put in my clipboard here, and we're just going to change this to update, okay? Because I'm just I'm just curious. Uh, I just want to see the the output again, but running it as it was, okay? Um, was that was that with deep? Yeah, that was with debug. Yeah, can you see that there was a little bit of a difference um, in the in the actual output here? So select, oops, sorry, selecting all from where question mark and question mark and question mark, whereas before it wasn't. Um, yeah, so I think there is a fundamental problem. All right. So what I can do is split the test up a little bit. Um, it's in uh, da, 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 status entity test, I believe. Yeah, because what I've got is the save routine and the update routine. Um, so what I can do is um, run save at this point run update at this point, right? And now I've got two separate um, ways of, of saving it, which means that, that I'm not going to break one method. Um, and then I'll combine them again. So what I need to do, obviously, is uh, this because this needs to be added back to the manager. 
So we need to just put that in as just a temporary, just a temporary measure, just a temporary measure. Whoops, sorry. Uh, control. Woo. Just a temporary measure. That's all. All right. Um, okay, so let's and and first of all, let's just comment out this just to just to be you know completely sure. This is sometimes what you have to do when you are running integration tests. It's like, well, which which part of the integration is 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 not working here? Is it the the PHP end or is it the the query end? You know what's going on here. So as I've just commented this out, the save routine uh, is is obviously working. But uh, if I was to put this back in, the update fails, which means now I can focus on that update uh, that update um, test, get that working, um, and remember the the problem we've got here is that that before the save was doing both the update and the insert. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to trip myself up and go. Well, perhaps I've broken the insert because we're doing the insert first, and then we're doing the update. Um, so by breaking these two up, you know, we can we can now focus on this. Okay. So we scroll up here. We get the same problem here. Invalid number. So let's open that up. That's the uh, update routine. Passing in the values, um, and we are doing array values. Values fine. Uh, and we're preparing that. So let's um, let's work through this and actually have a look and see what's going on. So we have values of ID. This needs to be because we're using parameterization. Um, that needs to be ID. Sorry, not that. The where clause needs to be ID. Whoops. Scroll up. Okay, invalid parameter. Parameter was not defined. Okay, so there is a there is an undefined parameter somewhere, and it's either going to be undefined in this sense, so, or it just wasn't supplied. No. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's see what the queries are actually doing. Okay, so we are connecting to the table, then we are doing a select query. Okay. So perhaps it's the select query that's wrong. I don't ever. I don't know. That's the query that's being output here. These are the parameters that we're supplying. Um, so really, that should go there. That should go here, and that should go there. And then it's uh, and then it, then it throws a little wobbly. So we haven't actually, in, it's interesting, we haven't actually got to the point where we're doing an insert, uh, an update, sorry. Um, so that make that suggests, apologies, I think, hang on, I'm going to have to open my door a minute. I do apologize, my cat is crying. Uh, I just want to make sure, yesterday they brought in a blackbird, so I just want to double check that there isn't anything dead behind this door. Right. I don't know. She's just moaning. Hello. Hello. Um, okay, so I'm not sure whether the, it is a problem with the, the update. Perhaps it's something to do with the insert. Come on, let's get you down. Good girl. I think she just wants a bit of attention. 
Uh, and probably some food. So, okay, query, select all from, and then this is where it fails. Let's go back to the test here and have a look at this. So we've got... Um, uh, no, that's not the test, is it? This is the test. So maybe it fails at the point of the... the pulling it back. So we do saved entity is equal to say, save, so that returns the entity that was saved. And then we do IC in database and we put all that stuff through. Let's just comment that out, just this stuff, so where we're setting all this stuff. Actually, let's just co comment that out. Um, sorry, beg your pardon, this. Just to make sure that we can do, we, we can actually run that. Yes, okay, we can run that. So this is actually working. Okay, so that's fine. I'm liking that. All right, so it is, it's definitely this point that is failing on the update. Yes, it's definitely this. All right, okay, cool. Um, so we can put that back in. All right. ID, internal name, these are the values that we are pushing through. Um, and we add the ID to that if we have an ID. This is the data. This really needs to be the fields um, rather than the data. If I open that up, if I open uh, update, so when we go into fields, we should have field and then colon and then the value, which is, which is is the field. So that looks fine. Okay, that looks fine to me. Um, and then we do the where clause, self where. So really what we want to do, what would be very nice and handy to do is have a mechanism to actually return the string that, that um, the SQL um, that we're running. So let's see. What's the what's the easiest way to do this? Because I don't actually have a visual yet. Um, DB assessed. No, this one. Okay. Is there a way I can return the query before we run the update? So on update. We're doing all of this stuff. Could I, before we do any of this at all, the SQL is, is defined here. Is there a way I could perhaps do a var dump? Of SQL. I'm not sure if this is gonna print out in the, in the, in the test, but we'll try. Let me know what that, that SQL is. Here we go, we've got some issues here. Scroll, 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 scroll. Command did not finish properly. No, I didn't, because I killed it. There we go. This is, the, this is the final piece. So we have update status where name is equal to name and internal name is equal to internal name where ID is equal to ID. Now that looks okay at a glance. Update status, set name is name, internal name is internal name, where ID is ID. That looks fine. Update status, set name, internal name. So we have one, two, three. These are the three um, things that we're doing here. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see that we are pre preparing that in. Uh, so let's do a var dump of that. And let's also do a var dump of um, values. Before we execute it, we can might as well just put it up here and then kill that. Okay, scroll, 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 get past all of this stuff. Okay, so we have 
um, 0, 1, and 2. Maybe we remove that, and maybe we do it without the array values and just pass in values. Yes, that was the case. So when you're, um, and that does make sense. Oh, that just, sorry, that does make sense because what's happening is you see, when you've got the question mark and someone really needs to tell me off for saying question mark and colon, there is a specific way you can define this and I can't, I can't for the life of me. At 8.13 in the morning, remember what they are, so I do apologize. So there's two ways of doing uh, parameterization in queries. One is the question mark and one is the colon. Um, when you're dealing with question marks, you're saying that um, this is an order of values that you want to put through. When you're dealing, however, with um, uh, colons, you are saying exactly the, the, the parameter that you would like to put in. Therefore, when you're binding all of these things, it needs to be slightly different. You need to bind them in a slightly different manner. Uh, let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate. Let's let's say, for example, I want to do a var. Let's do this um, uh, above here. Otherwise, it will execute. Let's do a var dump of um, of uh, da -da 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 -da, the SQL. Let's also do a var dump of array values. Um, values and let's also do a dump of var dump um, values without the array values. Okay, and then I'll kill this, and then I'll I'll I'll, I'll explain what I mean by the difference between question marks and colons. I think this is a, a very important point. Otherwise, um, this might be. A, just looking a little bit crazy. So don't worry about all this uh, issues. This is just where Codeception is having a bit of a, uh, a cry because I've actually killed the script. And I've killed it because I'm using die here. So we scroll up, we should have the outputs of these things, which we do. Okay, so uh, this is the string, right? This is the actual query that we're running. And notice that we're using colons now. We're using colons and then the name of the parameter that we want to supply. Beforehand, we were, we were using question marks. Okay, so we weren't actually saying, we weren't actually defining, we weren't actually saying, look, this is the actual parameter that we want to bind. This is just a question mark. Um, you can see that we have a question mark, question mark, these are all the same. Whereas when we're bind, binding parameters, when we're using pr these parameters, it is colon and then the parameter name, which means that we need to be, we need to alter how we are actually um, preparing the SQL and actually submitting the, um, the, 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 the values. So on the first on the first one, we're actually doing array values and we're passing in values as, as that argument. Whoops. Uh, which means that what we're doing here is we're removing the indexes, um, the associated indexes, and we're just, we're reordering them. So instead of, if I scrolled up here, instead of having the, f the index of name, the index is actually zero. Okay. Um, and then the index is one and the index is two for these particular values. If I scroll down a little bit more, we can see that we're actually doing this now. The next one under here is we're not dealing with array values, we're just passing in values. This means that we have the association, the name, the internal name, the ID. And what's happening is in the query, what we're doing is we're using these indexes, these keys, I should say, as the parameters that we wish to bind to. Notice that name, um, internal name, ID, marry up to the, um, to the parameters that we're binding. Okay. If we were to use the other way where we're just using question marks, then we don't use, when well, then we don't need to, to, to define the, the parameters themselves we can just spit out an array of an ordered set of values and um, PDO will just go, okay, that's that's index zero. So we'll put that at the, the very first one here. So that would therefore be in the question mark. That is the difference, that is the, the thing. So if I remove all of this now, and I'll remove that comment as well, because if I look back to that, I'll go, what was I smoking? That's That's weird. 
So let's save that. Let's run this. And it works. Excellent. Wonderful. But of course, um, what I've done is I've, I've split out this from the from the um, from the insert. Now, I think that there's going to be an issue with the insert. Um, what I'll do is let's just call this save um, BKP all right, for backup. And then let's just change that to be save. Right. Let's now go into the and the actual test themselves change that to be save okay all right so is this still going to fail because the first thing that happens is of course we go and insert the status then we go and find the status and then we save it again we update it so am i going to trip myself up with the insert so let's run this and see yes we are scroll up this was the whole point the whole reason why I split out the update and the save because I was getting confused as to the different the two different states that it works in the method actually does two things it will either insert or it'll update and it'll it does those slightly differently okay so we know now we we now know now we now know that we have the update working we can now work through this the actual insert and then hopefully once we've fixed that both of them will work together Okay, so let's take a look at the save routine, the, the routine that we've just done, and in the eyes of inserting. So we don't have to worry about this at all. Um, we changed all of these values, remember? So the problem would be in here where we do the insert. So data table. Let's open that up. Okay. So I can, I can straight away see where the problem is. It is this. It's the question mark. That is the that's the issue. Because what we need instead of the question mark is we need to have an equals, and then that, and then the actual um, the 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 value. So this is this is doing a four blah blah blah, and the way that th this needs to change is actually a for each loop. This needs to be a for each loop. Let's just remove that because I think there might be something slightly easier for us to use. I think we could use fields. Yeah, I think we could use fields. Now, um, this is obviously going to break an awful lot of stuff, all right? So be warned, this is going to break a lot of stuff. Uh, but I'm hoping that it'll get to a point where it'll just be a very common set of fixes. All right, so what, I, what I'm proposing to do is I'm proposing to comment out this and put in self fields passing in the data because self fields will return if I scroll down here will return a comma separated list of fields based on the data that is supplied okay so that values so we could if we really wanted to if we wanted to be super clever let's comment that out let's close that up let's comment that out is we could if we really 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 wanted to we could do values um, is equal to well we could even be cleverer than this to be honest Now I'm commenting out the things. I'm not removing the things because I, you know it's always good to have something to re to refer to. But obviously, once it's fixed, I'll remove the comments. So insert into table, and then you supply the fields. So the fields we need to have um, a comma separated list in in um, brackets like so. Okay, so that therefore goes in in here. Uh, what's going on here? Implode. I don't think we need to deal with that. Which means we, <laughs> which means we don't need any of this. 
Oh, dear. We could... SQL is equal to... We could just write the whole thing as a single line. So insert into table. That is the uh, thing here. Question mark. Uh, sorry, bracket. Open the bracket. Close the bracket. And then that also has... Ah. Uh, does that deal with the... Back ticks. It does deal with the back ticks. Wonderful. Yeah, that that's all. That's that always that already works on that. Sorry, I've gone and messed that up. Let me find my place. Insert. Here we go. So insert into. That's back ticked. We have uh, open bracket, self fields, close bracket, and then we need to also supply that. So there's a couple of issues. Let's have a look. Um, no data sources are configured. All right. This is just PHP storm trying to be too clever. Okay. Let's save. Let's run this. Inserting that, uh, sorry, what's going on here? <laughs> One uh, issue, uh, failed asserting that zero is greater than zero. What is going on? All right, there's a problem with the, the. I think I've gone and messed up the insert query. Let's see if I can run the, whoops, that was the wrong thing. Let's see if I can run the units again yeah what's broken here aha ah okay oh gosh yes <laughs> I have completely ruined this yeah okay hmm. insert into invoice reference total VAT um, and there's four issues. There's four, 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 four problems here, and we're we're passing in question mark, question mark, question mark, and we should be doing insert into um, that. That isn't going to work. That is not going to work. There is nothing there. That is that should be colon equals colon equal. Yeah. Uh, did it. Oh dear. Oh dear. I've gone and broken it. I've gone and broken it. Um, hmm. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this in this stream because it's getting on to 8.25 um, and there's some other bits and pieces that I want to talk about. So I think tomorrow I might focus on this um, a, a little bit more. But can you see that this is, a, this is quite in depth? There, there is a lot that we need to deal with here. Um, Purely out of time reasons, I, I need to get crack on and do some other other pieces of work. Um, something I would like to mention before I go though is that we have, uh, if you do follow along on Instagram and how to on and Twitter, you'll you'll know that we are in the process of getting a puppy. Yay, a puppy, a puppy, a puppy. Um, cannot wait. We are in the process of picking up a puppy. We should pick up the puppy. If I could say pick up a puppy, pick up a puppy like a hundred times, I will. Um, we're going to pick up the puppy in um, in October. So we went to see the puppy that we didn't pick up uh, last weekend. <laughs> oh, dear. And uh, yeah, we've called it Murph Murphy. Uh, and Murphy has its own Instagram account for anybody who wants to look at cute puppies. Check out Adventures of Murphy Pup. Adventures of Murphy Pup with underscores but in the spaces. I'll put uh, links and stuff in show notes if you're inclined to uh, check out the pup. Uh, should be here in October. But um, I just want to say publicly, I am I do apologise for all the puppy puppy posts that will be coming in the in the in the couple of uh, weeks time because we we can't wait. We cannot wait. We've got two cats. We've got Pixel and we've got Flick, and they are awesome. They're fantastic. Uh, but we decided that we would like to have a puppy, and this is an English Springer Spaniel. It's liver and white. Um, Murphy has a fantastic 
uh, attitude, temperament. And uh, we just fell in love. We, we fell in love with the whole litter, to be honest. It was a very awkward, uh, st- a ch- struggling, challenging uh, decision as to which one we, we went for. We decided to go with Murphy and we cannot wait to bring him home. Um, and that'll be some point in October. He's got to go for all of the vaccinations and everything because he's, o- he's only a little, he's only a little baby. So, um, uh, a little puppy. So yeah, so that I'm really, really looking forward to. So if you want to see puppies follow adventures of Murphy pup, so underscores adventures, underscore of underscore Murphy underscore pup, uh, on Instagram and you'll be able to see Murphy as he grows up. Um, but anyway, anyway, that, that was a side note. Tomorrow's stream, I'm going to be focusing on this. This is uh, important to fix. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this uh, in the next few minutes. Um, you know, you've got to draw a line somewhere. Um, and what I'm going to do is just have a little bit of research myself because that we're getting into waters that I need to refresh my memory with. Um, I use a lot of doctrine. So there is uh, all of this good stuff is kind of done for you. And it makes programmers, I feel, be a little bit lazy, especially me, because when you start looking at this and you're going, should there be question marks? Should there not be question? It gets a little bit um, sort of like you, you want to you want to have a bit of a more of a foundation. So I want to go away and have a little read up on this stuff um, a little bit more before I before I demonstrate this stuff. Just I mean, I've done all of this in university and college, I you know, but because I've used doctrine for so long, you get you kind of get out of the swing of stuff. So I do need, do need to take take a look and, and, and focus on this. But once this is done, and I know I keep saying this, but once this is done, we're going to be um, definitely working through the front end of this because I think that we are coming to a point where we, we, are, we are very close to just working on the front end and getting the forms built. Um, I mean, that in itself is a challenge. But uh, once the data is in the pla- in place, then we can we can make the front end look a bit fancy. Uh, if we wanted to, with forms and everything, to actually create the invoicing application. But anyway, I do need to shoot because I do need to crack on with some work. Um, it's very busy, I, I must say. It is extremely busy right now. Um, and uh, yes, so so that that's why I haven't been doing a lot of streaming as much as I have done. In fact, I must, I must apologize that this Sunday I, I will not be streaming because I'm seeing family and I, I, it sounds awful that I have to apologize about that. Um, and, uh, I, I shouldn't be apologizing for seeing family. Uh, but, um, I won't be streaming this Sunday, so there will not be a Sunday stream. There will have a, be one in the following week. Um, and the following week, hopefully we'll get back more into the swing of this stuff, but the, I will be back tomorrow, 7:30 British summertime. But for now, whatever you get up to in your day, Enjoy it. Um, be kind to people. I can't stress that enough. Be kind to people. Um, you owe it to yourself and to others. Um, and uh, yes, happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again soon, all right? Cheers. Bye-bye.